Watch Gabriel, please. Ready? Again. Oh, hello. <laughs> My name is Melody Joe. I'm a senior at Brookline High School. This is the town-wide Lunar New Year celebration. Um, right now, me and Angie are running this country game where you can spin this little dial and then guess where each monument or like tourist location is in the world. And this celebration is for families around Brookline to just come and get to learn about the Lunar New Year and what it means and get to experience some of the culture. Um, well, a large population of the Brookline community is Asian American and a lot of us celebrate the Lunar New Year so I think it's important for a lot of Brookline families to come and get to learn about it and get to learn what we do during the Lunar New Year and get to experience some of the fun activities that we do and like just learn about it. Yeah. So basically um, a lot of countries in Asia follow the lunar calendar. So in the US we look at the calendar. So we have different months than those who follow the lunar calendar, which follows the phases of the moon. So for um, if for us the technical first day of the new year is actually different than the one that we celebrate in the US. So that's what we're celebrating. And this year it is on February sixteenth. <laughs> I'm Dougie Cito, and this is the Lunar New Year Festival for the town of Brookline, and it's hosted by BAFIN, which is the Brookline Asian American Family Network, and APAC, the Asian Pacific American Club at Brookline High School. And basically this event is just to celebrate um, Asian culture, specifically the Lunar New Year, and we have games all around and performances that'll be um, just to like celebrate. This event is definitely important because it is definitely like a uniting thing and um, in previous years, actually last year specifically, we have a table right there which is um, the Mahjong table and it's, I just remember like sitting here running a game and looking at like a bunch of um, uh, Asian Brookline residents sitting around the table like playing Mahjong and it's just like a space where we, they can like you know, yeah. recreate the culture where they came from. It's interesting. My name's Evelyn. My booth this year is like helping the kids learning characters and like knowing which it goes to basically. <laughs> uh, I decided to come volunteer this year because it was it's my first year in Chinese one and I'm a senior and I 
I thought it would be like a good way to give back to the community since um, Ms. Shorter is the one that like helped put this together and she wanted to give back to the community. So I think it was like a great way to get involved. Um, I definitely loved like I've like heard like Chinese people speaking Mandarin. And I always thought it was like interesting, so I wanted to try it. And since it is my senior year, like might as well try it. <laughs> Um, hello, my name is Janice. Um, I'm BHS student, a senior, because um, I'm a part of CSSA club, so that's why I'm here. And like Chinese Spring Festival is coming, so like that's also why I'm here. Um, like we are holding a lot of activities, um, and yeah, I'm helping with uh, like. I'm helping with kids to write some Chinese characters, those stuff. Here, which you get to pick, Scotland or Middle So which one of these is, is Scottish? Close, you're on the right side. It's on this side. This is Vietnam. My name is Bernard Green. I'm a member of the Brookline Select Board, and I've come to the Asian American uh, event every year. Uh, I come because it's a lot of fun and meet a lot of interesting people that I don't run into uh, usually on the street. And um, they have a lot of games here that I try my hand at, sometimes successfully, sometimes not. For example, I just bombed out on the flags uh, this year, although previous years I um, were able, was able to identify a number of flags from various countries around the world. I just haven't been studying my flags this year. I think it's important because the Asian American community is a very, very important community in this uh, uh, town uh, in terms of the number of people as well as the, uh, the skills and, and experiences. Uh, and perspectives that they can bring to the town, uh, both just in, in their day-to-day -day, uh, work and activities around the town, but also hopefully increasingly in town government, town committees and commissions uh, that you know, could use additional um, uh, ideas and energy. And this is a great uh, community in order to, uh, for, for those ideas. <laughs>
Thank you.